In the realm of cybersecurity, multi-factor authentication, MFA, has received long-standing promotion as a robust defense mechanism against unauthorized access. MFA offers an additional degree of security by requiring users to present several forms of identity before giving access. Security, significantly reducing the risk of breaches. However, recent advancements in cyber threats have seen the emergence of sophisticated methods to bypass MFA, posing new challenges to organizations and individuals alike. These emerging tactics pose formidable challenges to the security of organizations and individuals alike, underscoring the pressing need for heightened vigilance and innovative countermeasures. Understanding MFA Bypass MFA typically combines two or more authentication factors, such as passwords, biometric data, security tokens, or one-time codes. The concept is simple. Even if an attacker gets one factor, like a password, they still could not access the account without the additional authentication method. MFA bypass attacks exploit vulnerabilities in the implementation of MFA systems, rather than directly attacking the authentication factors themselves. These attacks aim to deceive or manipulate the MFA system into granting access to unauthorized users. Advancements in MFA bypass techniques Recent advancements in technology have enabled attackers to develop more sophisticated methods for bypassing MFA. Some of the notable techniques include phishing and social engineering. Phishing and social engineering are among the most common techniques used in MFA bypass attacks. They rely on psychological manipulation to deceive individuals into divulging sensitive information or performing actions that compromise security. Common tools and techniques. Spoofed websites and emails. Attackers create fake websites and emails that mimic legitimate ones, often using convincing logos, layouts, and language to deceive users into believing they are interacting with a trusted entity. Spear phishing. This targeted form of phishing involves customizing attacks to specific individuals or organizations. Attackers gather information about their targets from publicly available sources or data breaches to craft personalized and believable messages. Pretexting. Attackers create a pretext or fabricated scenario to manipulate individuals into divulging sensitive information or by performing actions they wouldn't normally do. This could involve posing as a trusted authority figure or fabricating urgent situations to pressure victims into complying with their requests. Social media manipulation. Attackers exploit social media platforms to gather personal information about their targets, such as interests, relationships, and employment details. This information is then used to craft convincing phishing messages tailored to the victim's interests or circumstances. Common tools. Phishing kits. These are prepackaged sets of tools and resources that streamline the processes of creating and deploying phishing attacks. Phishing kits often include phishing website templates, email templates, and tools for harvesting stolen credentials. Email spoofing tools, tools like SET, Social Engineering Toolkit, allow attackers to spoof email addresses, making it appear as though emails are coming from a trusted sender. Credential harvesting tools. Attackers use tools such as keyloggers or form grabbers to capture login credentials entered by victims on spoofed websites. Man in the middle, MITM attacks. MITM attacks entail listening in on and controlling conversations between two parties, frequently without their awareness. These attacks can occur in various contexts, including network communication, web browsing, and application interactions. Common tools and techniques. Packet sniffing. Attackers use packet sniffing tools to intercept and analyze network traffic, allowing them to capture sensitive information such as login credentials, session tokens, and other authentication data. ARP spoofing. By faking address resolution protocol ARP messages, one can reroute traffic through the attacker's system by associating the attacker's MAC address with the target's IP address. SSL stripping. Attackers exploit vulnerabilities in the implementation of HTTPS to downgrade secure connections to unencrypted HTTP, allowing them to intercept and manipulate traffic before it reaches its intended destination. DNS spoofing. Attackers manipulate DNS responses to redirect users to malicious websites or servers controlled by the attacker, enabling them to intercept communication and steal sensitive information. Common tools. Wireshark, a popular open source packet sniffing tool used for capturing and analyzing network traffic. Ettercap. A comprehensive suite for MITM attacks, including ARP spoofing, DNS spoofing, and packet sniffing capabilities. BetterCap, a powerful tool for performing MITM attacks on local networks, offering features such as ARP spoofing, DNS spoofing, 
SSL stripping and packet injection. Credential stuffing. Credential stuffing attacks involve automated attempts to log into online accounts using extensive sets of username password pairs got from previous data breaches or leaks. Common tools and techniques. Automated brute force attacks. Attackers use automated scripts or tools to systematically try different combinations of usernames and passwords until they find a valid login credential. So, credential list. Attackers compile lists of leaked or stolen credentials from data breaches, dark web forums or other sources, which are then used in credential stuffing attacks. Credential stuffing services. Some attackers may purchase or subscribe to credential stuffing services that provide access to large databases of stolen credentials and automated tools for launching attacks. CAPTCHA solving services. To bypass CAPTCHA challenges commonly used to deter automated login attempts, Attackers may use CAPTCHA solving services that employ human workers or automated algorithms to solve CAPTCHA puzzles. Common Tools Sentry MBA, a popular credential stuffing tool that automates the processes of testing extensive sets of username password pairs on various websites. Snipper, another credential stuffing tool that provides features for proxy rotation, CAPTCHA solving and automated credential testing. Scully Dumper, while primarily used for SQL injection attacks, SQLi Dumper also includes features for scraping websites and extracting login credentials for uses in credential stuffing attacks. Real Dangers of MFA Bypass The ramifications of successful MFA bypass attacks can be severe, leading to unauthorized access to sensitive data, financial loss, reputation damage, and regulatory penalties. For organizations, a breach resulting from MFA bypass can have far-reaching consequences, including legal liabilities loss of customer trust, and operational disruptions. Protecting against MFA bypass attacks. Despite the growing nature of MFA bypass techniques, there are several strategies organizations and individuals can employ to enhance their defenses. Education and awareness. Educate users about the risks of MFA bypass attacks and the importance of vigilance against phishing attempts and social engineering tactics. Implement adaptive authentication. Use adaptive authentication systems that analyze user behavior and context to dynamically adjust authentication requirements based on risk factors. Use biometric authentication. Incorporate biometric authentication methods such as fingerprint or facial recognition, which are inherently more resistant to traditional phishing attacks. Employ threat intelligence. Stay informed about emerging threats and vulnerabilities through threat intelligence sources to proactively adapt security measures. Regular security audits and updates. Conduct regular security audits to identify and remediate vulnerabilities in MFA implementations. Ensure that you regularly conduct security audits to identify and remediate vulnerabilities in MFA implementations. Real life examples. There is a lack of specific publicly available documentation on cyber attacks categorized solely by MFA bypass techniques, as organizations rarely disclose such incidents publicly because of security and privacy concerns. Nevertheless, on January 9, 2023, Reddit informed its users that a malicious actor had achieved success in persuading an employee to click a link in an email as part of a spear phishing campaign. This action directed them to a fraudulent website, mimicking the behavior of Reddit's internal network gateway. With the intent of unlawfully gain user credentials and second factor authentication tokens, here's an analysis of the attack based on the information provided. Spear phishing email. The attackers sent a carefully crafted email to the Reddit employee, likely intending to trick them into taking a specific action, such as clicking on a link or downloading an attachment. The email may have appeared legitimate, possibly impersonating someone within the organization or posing as a trusted entity. Link to malicious website. The email contained a link that directed the employee to a fake website designed to mimic Reddit's intranet gateway. This is a common tactic used in phishing attacks where attackers create convincing replicas of legitimate websites to trick users into entering their credentials. Credential theft. When the employee clicked on the link and entered their credentials on the fake website, the attackers could capture this information. This likely included the employee's username and password, which could provide the attackers with unauthorized access to Reddit's internal systems or sensitive information. Second factor token theft. The attackers also attempted to steal second factor tokens, which are typically used as an additional layer of security beyond passwords. This shows a sophisticated attack as it suggests the attackers were prepared to bypass multi-factor authentication MFA measures to gain further access to Reddit systems. Notification and response. 
Reddit promptly notified its users about the incident, demonstrating transparency and a commitment to addressing the security breach. It's likely that Reddit's security team started an investigation to assess the extent of the compromise, identify any additional security risks, and implement measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. Additionally, many attacks involve multiple tactics, making it challenging to attribute them solely to MFA bypass. However, sometimes MFA bypass techniques have been reported or speculated to be part of larger cyber attacks. For example, Google Authenticator Vulnerability 2020. In 2020, security researchers discovered a vulnerability in the Google Authenticator app that could potentially allow attackers to bypass two-factor authentication, 2FA protections. While no one reported any documented attacks exploiting this vulnerability, it raised concerns about the effectiveness of certain MFA methods. SIM swap attacks. SIM swap attacks involve attackers convincing a mobile carrier to transfer a victim's phone number to a SIM card controlled by the attacker. Once the attacker gains control over the victim's phone number, they can intercept SMS-based authentication codes effectively bypassing SMS-based MFA. Phishing and social engineering. Phishing attacks remain one of the most prevalent methods used to bypass MFA. Attackers may trick users into divulging their MFA codes or other authentication credentials through phishing emails, fake login pages, or social engineering tactics. While specific examples of MFA bypass attacks may not always be readily available, it's important for organizations and individuals to be aware of the potential risks and implement robust security measures to mitigate them. This includes using multiple authentication factors, employing secure communication channels, regularly updating software and systems, and providing ongoing cybersecurity training for employees. Conclusion. As cyber threats continue to develop, the efficacy of traditional security measures such as MFA is being challenged. By understanding the methods employed in MFA bypass attacks and implementing appropriate security measures, organizations and individuals can strengthen their defenses against these emerging threats.